just trust that I look fantastic. I didn't even, I didn't even check. Uh, well, okay, I, I'll, I'll be a diva. I'll diva out and look at myself. We're, we're still rubbing, the, this is the B-roll, this is it. Tay's on day has to look at himself in his phone before every take, okay now. Hey everybody, welcome to Comedy Shots. I'm your host, Tay Zonde. Today we have our friend Maz Jabrani talking about mixed families. I love, I love having a mixed crowd, man. And like I was saying, I married an Indian woman and, uh, and uh, woo! <laughs> yeah, man, it's funny because she grew up in, in America so she doesn't do the hard, no accent, you know? My father-in-law has it. My, when, every time my father-in-law comes, hello, Maz, hello, Maz. <laughs> Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Is that a letter in your language? <laughs> Sounds like he's playing the santur. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's funny, we've met before, but every time he sees me, he says, nice to meet you. Again, I think that's a direct translation. You know, because I, I tried to correct him. I go, sir, we've met before. And then he tries to cover up by acting poetic. He goes, yes, but every time I see you, it is like meeting you again. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Hello, Maz, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I'm Iranian. My wife is Indian. Our nanny is Guatemalan. Our kids are confused. <laughs> They don't know who is who or what is what, I swear to God. Like, they spend more time with the nanny than they do with us. Like, I think that they think that the nanny is their mother, me and my wife are the nannies. I swear, my son's three and a half now. Every night when the nanny's leaving, he's got a Guatemalan accent when he talks. Once he's leaving, adios, mama. I'll see you later, man. I'm gonna hang out with you two losers again. Adios, mama. His name is Dara, which is a Persian name, Dara, but his Spanish is better than English. The other day I go, Dara, come here. He went the other way. I go, amigo, venga. He came. He's like, what you want, fool? What you want? And it's crazy because all the nannies in uh, where I live in LA, all the nannies are Latina. So all the kids speak Spanish now. White, black, Asian, all of them. I went to the park, there was a little white kid trying to get some water at the fountain. I wanted to help him. I go, hey kid, you, you want some water? He goes, agua. <laughs> I go, water, agua. <laughs> I go, water, agua. <laughs> I go, okay, gangbanger, agua, take it easy. <laughs> But here's what's crazy is the nannies were singing a song with the kids in Spanish and it was a call and response. So they would say something and the kids would respond in Spanish and I speak broken Spanish so I was able to understand every like 10th word. And I was standing on the side, they were singing, I was like, this sounds like a good song. You know, the nannies were like, orale, orale. And the, the kids were like, por que si, por que no? I was like, what a nice song. Until I heard the words, la revolucion. which means the revolution. I realize they're brainwashing our kids to help them take back California 15 years from now. And I went up to the nanny, I'm like, what's this song about? Don't worry, senor, have some agua, relax. I have to talk to the soldiers, I mean children. Porque si, porque no. <laughs> Oh man, these kids grow up fast, right? Right, fine, they grow up fast, right? Oh my God, like I travel a lot. You can't leave and come back. Like you leave for a week, you come back, they're walking, they're talking. And my kids are half Indian. I leave, I come back, they're designing websites. <laughs> Chicago transplant living in SoCal, take it from me. The more languages you know, the better. Mire amigo, know any other languages? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to, wait for it. Oh, I'm sure they've got to it by now.